Don't you worry, don't you worry, child. <laughs> See, heaven's got a plan for you. Hey, what's going on, G-Shock Society? It's your boy, G-Dub, G-Shock Warrior. Three ones. Another beautiful day. It's Tuesday, April 9th, right? Yep, Tuesday, April 9th. Beautiful day. Here in Northeastern PA, it's like 80 degrees out or something like that. Like, it's ridiculous. Um, lucky I love you guys because I should be out playing basketball. And I'm going to get yelled at for making this video, but you got to do what you got to do, right? Sorry, we're not stalking. We're just people watching. But, um, I got yelled at yesterday for two reasons. One was for not giving out two shout outs. So, shout outs to AAA. I missed it in the Polarized video. And shout outs to Corey. You know who you are. Yeah. Close personal friend of mine. Helps me out a lot with G-Shocks. Very informative. But, um... <clears throat> she yelled at me for A, not giving her a shout out, and B, for not pointing out what seems to be the best part of this watch. Is you see the Casio's shock resist? It's actually, quote-unquote, floating. Because it, that's because it's not on the dial. It's actually <clears throat> in the crystal. So, if I can get a good aim at this, you can see that. See, it's actually like floating. Like it's not on the dial. You can see it being reflected. You can see the shadow. <laughs> she really wanted me to point that out. I guess it's her favorite part. But, um... <clears throat> I told her, all right, I'll, say, I'll show it in the next video because I'll be wearing it. You want to see how G-Dub how coordinates a Raspberry Polarized? Uh, that's how G-Dub coordinates a Raspberry Polarized. See that? Mm. Phoenix Suns Penny Fives, for those of you who don't know. I don't tie my laces. I kind of just leave them like that. Just slide my feet in. That's how G Dub coordinates his raspberry polarized. Yep, yeah, buddy. But um, whew, this video um got a package early in the morning from. I purposely used the bottom of the box so I could show who the package was from. That's me. Whoa. That's me. And for those of you who don't know who that is, oh, I'm going to hide that in case. I'm just going to show his name in case he doesn't want people to see his address. That's Chavo. Yeah, that's Chavo. You guys know who Chavo is? That's Chavo's address. Package came from Chavo. Um, best wrapping packing job I've ever seen, ever, ever. This is like five pounds of newspaper, bunch of this. For the record, guys, in case you don't notice, I'm just stalling because I don't want to. I'm just making you guys antsy. And then the box came wrapped in this. I'll show you guys the box if you want. Look, it's the box. It's a white box, but it's actually part of the watch. Uh oh. What's that? Uh oh. What's that? Oh my god, it's everywhere. What's that? Is there another one here? Uh oh. Oh my god, that symbol's everywhere. It's like some Illuminati bullshit. I don't know what the hell that is. The Illuminati's taking over. Illuminati! <laughs> That was a text message, and that was probably from Kevin from Jersey, because we were trying to hunt down a Rasta One Love for me. Hey, look at that. <laughs> wow, look how nice that makes it look. Holy crack. <laughs> that was me killing the Flash, in case you guys didn't know what happened. See what happens when I put the Flash on? Look at this. 
it came with its own microfiber towel. You know what this is? This is what they used to use to clean like expensive shades like Ray Bans or something. You know? Like 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 these. This is what they used to clean these. See what happens when you when you have a nice sunny day? They get oily. Just playing catch with these on. Yeah, buddy. Anyway, that's not what this is about. It's not about that either. It's not about the shoes. It's not about this. It's about this. How do you know? What is that? It just looks like a clot. That's because it is a clot. But it's not a clot. It's the clot. What do you mean, the clot? Let's just think. <clears throat> Alright, boys and girls. G Shock 101. The clot release had two pieces to it. The normal black tin clot that you see that everybody was a fan of. And then you had this clot. How many were produced, G Dub? 100 pieces. <laughs> Sorry, guys, if I have the sniffles, but I was crying tears of joy. <laughs> 100 of these were produced. See this acrylic case? It's actually really heavy. Watch this. <laughs> really heavy. If I could compare it real quick, it's about three times the weight of the bare brick case. Maybe more. Actually, some, somewhere between three and five is heavy. It is acrylic. And in case you didn't know, this is called the suicide clot. Why, G-Dub? Why is it called the suicide clot, G-Dub? What does this case remind you of, guys? Mm. Nothing yet. Escape artists, Nodini, you know made cases like this famous because they would fill it with water and throw themselves inside it with a straight jacket and they'd have like a minute and a half to escape before they drown or something so it was pretty much called like suicide escape hence why it's called the suicide clot how do you open to such a contraction contraption so it's not a word to use every day you slide the door open here you go. And then you pull out the beauty of a piece. Now I know what you're saying. What differentiates this from a normal black tin clot? And why was there only 100 produced? Well, this case not only separates it from the blacked out version. And for the most part, it is just a normal clot. I'm not going to lie to you guys. See, it's just your normal clot. Backlight is still the same. Still has the burgundy display with the Illuminati emblem. Yeah, I call it the Illuminati emblem. But for the most part, your Swedish fish looking red eyed blood clot piece. Except for one really small detail. And it's not in the face. It's not on the button or the bezel. It's not on the back plate. It's not on the tag. DW6900 CL4. Then where is that slight detail, G Dub? Where's that detail you're telling us about, G Dub? Hmm, why does that buckle look different? No. They wouldn't put a black plated buckle on this watch, would they? That'd actually make it look a lot nicer. Now, for those of you not lucky enough to come across a normal clot, what does your normal clot button look like? What clot buckle look like? Not like this. Your normal clots, guys, have what I like to call 
polished buckle. Why? Because it's not silver. Like that. Regular silver clasp. Your regular clap buckle looks something like that. It has a polished look to it. However, the suicide clot like I just showed you guys has the blacked out buckle. So you're asking, is that the only difference, G-Dub? Is that it? Is that all it is? Just a buckle and a case? Honestly, guys, that's all it is. <laughs> there wasn't much of a retail difference. Regular clot retailed for 130 Suicide clot retailed for 150 Problem is, you were never going to find it at 150 Thanks to Chavo, I got it at a reasonable price. He made no profit. He gave it to me for exactly what he got it for. It's because he had two. So there's 100 in the world, and TCF has three. I have one. Chavo has one. Oh, and in case you didn't know, Crispy has one too. <laughs> so out of 100 pieces, we have three. Isn't that ironic? And there's 12 of us, meaning for every four of us, one of us has this piece. Which is ironic, because I actually had to give up my first clot. It's a long story. Some of you know it. If you don't, it's not important. But look where we are now. Something told me, relax. Don't worry about it. Don't stress it. Don't overreact. It'll come to you. Remember, guys, good things come to those who wait. And here I am, sitting at you, sit, talking to you guys with, in case I didn't show you guys, this is the long-ass manual. I came with it. And then the warranty card is right there. But um, you guys want to see the tin? I mean, the case closed up one more time. Not a problem. All you have to do is ask. Don't you worry, don't you worry, child. See, heaven's got a plan for you. Yeah, it's your boy G Dub signing off with the most exclusive, elusive, legendary, rare of the G's. This is what I call. You saw Chava do the review on his Evangelion that I told him he had the Articuno of all watches. This is the Moltres. Yeah, buddy. See, heaven's got a plan for him. But yeah, shout out to that little thing of ours. The Illuminati's taking over in a backlight. Come on. This backlight doesn't say Illuminati. No, nothing does. Look at that backlight. That doesn't scream Illuminati. What does? That backlight doesn't scream Illuminati. What does? The Illuminati. Blows like a 12 gauge shoddy. <laughs> but yeah, shout out to that little thing of ours. Shout out to TCF. Everybody talked to them daily. Corey and AAA. I'm not forgetting you guys. This is a double shout out. Hi, guys. AAA, y'all slacking for the record. I like, I'm liking the music, but y'all slacking on y'all G-Shocks. All of you. One through like 38 of you. I don't know how many of you guys are. Corey, thank you very much. I'll say hi to my girlfriend for you. Don't worry. Um, yeah, shout out to three people I shouted out yesterday, SJ in Oregon, Kevin in Jersey, who's trying to help me with the one love, but might have to go to another source, and DJ in Massachusetts, he told me where he finally is, it's Massachusetts, right on the border with New Hampshire, up in West Bumblesville, but yeah, and then shout out to the usual, AG and Monty, Chris, S. Dot. Mike835, that dude, Prince, you guys know who you are, I don't have to name all you guys, all of TCF, of course, and then G-Shock UK, which is Star Remake, shout out to you guys, um, 
Soriano, Wizard, Baker, Tim, Mike Hughes, all you guys. Shout out to the Philippines. Um, yeah. Um, I guess we can make, since I just hit 3030, oh, jeez, baby. Yeah. Yes, I can give you guys a collection video soon. Since my G's are taking over my room. And my wrist. But, um. Uh, giveaway soon. Remember that. So, pay attention. Giveaway and collection will probably be my next vids unless I get that one love. So, we'll see. This is 30. Um, like, remember, like I always tell you guys, don't follow your dreams. Chase them. Chase them. No matter where they take you. To the moon and back. Who cares? Get it done. Always, always shock the world. From the East Coast, your boy G Dub, TCF Cat, signing off. Shout out to the thing of ours. Peace.